its mesmerizing splendor. Everything we do is controlled by the sun. All our lives depend on it. Throughout history, across cultures, it's the pivot around which life on Earth revolves, nurturing our crops, structuring our days, inspiring our beliefs. A hundred and fifty million kilometers from home, a twenty-year journey by plane. Switch it off, and it's so far away. We wouldn't know about it for a whole eight minutes. It's so big you could fit a million Earths inside it. So heavy, its gravity controls the entire solar system. We see it every day. Familiar face in our sky. Up close, it's unrecognizable. A turbulent sea of incandescent gas. The thermometer rises to over 5,000 degrees. Down in the core, it's got to be tens of millions of degrees. enough to trigger a nuclear reaction, turning millions of tons of matter into energy every second. More than all the energy ever made by mankind. Back home, we see this energy as light and feel it as heat. But up close, there's nothing comforting about the sun. It's so full of electrical and magnetic activity. It's bursting out in these huge incandescent gas loops called prominences. Each one releasing more energy than 10 million volcanoes. You could get the Earth through one of these loops and still have tens of thousands of kilometers to spare. And where they burst through, it's exposing the cooler layers below, making sunspots. They're a fraction cooler than their surroundings. It's why they look black, but they're still hotter than anything on Earth. And they're massive, too. Some of these are at least 50,000 kilometers across, wide enough to swallow the entire Earth. A solar flare. A superheated stream of electrified gas blasting deadly radiation out into space. But one day, the sun's fuel will be spent. It will die. When it does, so will life on Earth.